What's good, it's Josh, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna be going over how to make Dominic Fike type music. I'm gonna be going over everything today. That includes the mix, the vocals, and the beat. No stone is gonna be left unturned. I got you. To go over all these techniques, I put together a little Dominic type vibe. Here's a little preview of that now. I thought that I could leave it up to fate. Cause I swear I learned from my mistakes. All right, first thing we're gonna go over is the vocals. There are a couple key steps you need to remember when making Dominic Fike type music. These are vocal stacking, vocal editing, and vocal effects slash saturation. First thing you notice in Dominic's music that makes it so dope is the use of vocal stacks. And I've mentioned this in a lot of other tutorials, but it's especially true in Dominic's music. He usually has a lead vocal, put it in the center, and then layers of stacks. So let me just show you the effect that these have. So first you'd have the left and right and the normal. I thought that I could leave it up to fate. If you don't know the falsetto voice, it's basically that Usher type tone that's like, yeah, yeah. At the very minimum for vocal stacking, I would recommend a left and right, potentially a falsetto or a lower octave. It just depends on what key your song is in and where your vocal sits within the arrangement of the song. The next key is vocal editing. And this is something that people do not really truly understand, I feel like, or ever get right. But what I mean by vocal editing is getting your stuff in time and in pitch. For the pitch, you either want to use a pitching plug in like auto tune, waves tune, or meta tune. Or if you're going for more of a natural sound, you could use something like Melodyne. Once you've chosen the right takes and decided everything is in pitch, you want to go through and clean up the audio. What I mean by that is exactly what I've done. Just for example, if you had an audio file that looked like this, you wouldn't want to go through and clean it up. What I mean by that is going through and taking out all this space right here and putting little fades on the audio. If you have four, six, eight, 12 layers of vocals and don't do this, there's gonna be so much noise, especially if you bring compression into the mix because it's gonna be bringing that noise up. So you wanna go through and really take care of all that. The next thing you wanna do is take out all the breaths besides the lead vocal. I find that if you have a ton of breaths, it kinda just clogs up the mix. After the breaths, you also wanna take out all the S's that you can besides the lead vocal. The human ear can only process one sound at a time. So if you have all of these playing at once, it's gonna be super harsh and your de is gonna have to work way too hard. So what I did was go through and cut out all the S's on this where I said mistakes. That allows there just to be one S right here with the lead vocal. And so what, here's what that sounds like. I swear I learned from my mistake. And that allows that lead vocal to really take that S spot. I swear I learned from my mistakes. Something else to help with the S's is I usually group all of the background vocals and apply a pretty strong de -er to really tame those S sounds to where there's only one S sound going and that's the lead vocal. The last step to getting Dominic Fike type vocals is the effects. What I have right here is some pretty radical EQ taking out a lot of the low end, but that's also because I'm using the SM7B mic, which has a lot of extra low end that you have to kind of scoop out. And here's where the fun begins. This is where I'm using Saturn, which is a saturation plugin. And you can notice in Dominic's vocals, they're never just dry. They always have some sort of color and character to them. And the way you get that is through using certain preamp emulations or saturation plugins. On this, I was just scrolling through presets, came upon the dynamic warm transformer, adjusted the mix a little bit to 63% and thought it sounded good. And then I got just the classic CLA vocals, a little bit of sub scooped out, a little bit of top, a little bit of compression. We got some more kind of saturation tonal shaping is what I like to call it going on. I just used this little devil lock plugin by Sound Toys, super dope. If you don't have it, definitely recommend it. Turn the darkness down a little bit because I've Felt it was just a little too bright. I wanted it to be a little darker, have a little bit more character. Turn the mix down, gives a little extra character. After that, carved out a little low end because it was getting a little boomy. Then another EQ, kind of taking out some of the nasally, kind of like up in there. Got a little multi band going on. And what I'm doing here is really just controlling the vocal to where if I'm going from my low tone to my high tone, you know, usually like it should be EQ differently. But one way we can get around EQing those sections differently is by using multi band because it keeps the frequencies level all throughout the vocal performance. A little bit of soothe and then fresh air just doing a little cleanup. The last thing we've got going on with the vocals is some delay. That sounds like this. Always recreate. What that is, just a basic echo, quarter note delay, some of the high end rolled off, some of the low end rolled off. If you're using delay in your mix, I would almost never use delay dry. I would always put on some sort of effects. What this is going to do is really almost like melt your delays into your mix and really glue everything together. If not, those delays might really stick out and just not add that beautiful ambience that delays are meant to add. What I did right here was just use a little haul, dry wet to about 14, 15%, go back to my trusty plugin Saturn. And so I wanted these delays to have some 
character to them. Kind of went through presets and found something that I liked. The next key to making dominant fight type music are the drums. Dominic likes to use a lot of organic sounding drums. So you want to make sure your sound selection is fitting that vibe if that's what you're going for. So I would go and splice, type in anything like indie drums, indie rock drums. If you start there, you're going to get some really dope sounds and stuff that really sounds close to what Dominic uses. Cool thing to do when making these kind of beats is layering snares. I started out with this DP snare live basic but I wanted it to have a little bit more crunch and character. So I layered it with a Ramsoid snare 247 lo-fi. Yeah, this is that shit. Shout out to Ramsoid for making dope packs. When you add that in the mix, it sounds like this. See, it just gives it a little bit more crunch and bite. With the kick, I'm using this OSLL needy kick. This kick is just really always in my face, always blowing me up. And so I decided I had to give it a little attention. You know what I'm saying? We got just these hi-hats going on. If you're not already doing it, you should be making sure that your sounds are a little bit off grid on these type of beats. Grab the snare, nudge it a little bit. This makes it sound more human and organic. I would do this with almost all of the sounds. These hats right here. In Ableton, I just click the D down here. If it's a positive number, it means it's delayed a little bit to the right. And if it's a negative number, it makes it a little bit early or delayed to the left. One of these to kind of be behind the beat. So I made it a positive number, uh, just kind of went till it felt good, put it at 10 to 11. For the drums, I also have the drum bus going, turned down the dry wet a little bit, added a little transient, little crunch, little drive. If you're not already using it, I would highly recommend this. It just helps give your drums a little bit more character. The rest of the drums are pretty simple, little transitional sounds. Got a little cymbal. We got the crash. We got the little open hat. The next thing I want to talk about are the instruments. The first thing for this beat that you notice is the guitar. I wish that I could say that I played this, but all I did was just get a loop off of waves.com. If you don't play guitar, no need to worry. I would recommend places like Waves, Splice, and Looperman for these kind of loops. Got the da beat little Kiwi E flat major 85 loop. Fuck with me. Just has that vibe, you know? We also got the live bass. So all that is, is just a Trillion preset and then with a little CLA bass on it. Now, if you don't have Trillion, no need to worry. There are a lot less expensive options. Native Instruments has a couple bass plugins that are dope. If you don't have the money for that, but have Splice, I would recommend just looking up one shot basses on Splice and then just pitching them to the key of your song. If you don't have any money and are literally just broke, what you need to do is go get your bag up, you playing. No, just kidding. I would just look up one shot basses on Google and I know there are some for free out there that you could use. For those of you who made it this far, I'm busting out the big guns, i.e. the mass channel. What I got going on for the master is just a little FGX. This is just a mix bus compression going on. Very light stuff. Got this plugin. I'm actually using the demo right now. I'm going to buy it soon. And this is another saturation plugin called Reviver. It's only at 27 bucks. Super far cop. And I kind of just adjust these to taste. All you need to know is that it makes it sound dope. Another instance of Saturn, saturating the mids a little bit, putting some tape on the highs just to tame it. And then I had a little clipper on it, standard clip. What this plugin is doing is kind of just shaving off the transient sounds. I want to shave off the transients because that'll give me a couple extra db when i go to limit it and allow me to just push it a little bit louder then i have the fab filter pro l2 ozone just making sure the bass is mono another vintage limiter and then just another clipper give it a little extra oomph and that my friends is how you sound like dominic fight appreciate y'all so much for watching the video if there are any other video ideas that you want to see me make make sure to comment and hit the subscribe button i'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers it would really help your boy out other than that y'all just keep vibing making dope music and have an amazing rest of y'all's week. I'll see y'all next time. Love you.